Bundabug virus is a close relative of the much more commonly known Ebola virus. BDBV causes severe disease in humans and in non-human primates with the Ebola hemorrhagic fever. BDBV is a select agent World Health Organization Risk Group 4 Pathogen. National Institutes of Health National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases Category A Priority Pathogen Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Category A Bioterrorism Agent and is listed as a biological agent for export control by the Australia Group. Use of term, Bundabug virus was first described in 2008 as a single member of a suggested new species Bundabug Ebola virus, which was suggested to be included into the genus Ebola virus, family Filaviridae order Mononegaviralis. The name Bundabug virus is derived from Bundabug and the taxonomic suffix virus. Note Bundabug virus is pronounced B N D I B D V Rezabun D Bujo Vahi R U H S Abun D Bujo Vahi R U H S in English phonetic notation. According to the rules for tax and naming established by the International Committee on Taxonomy of Viruses, the name Bundabug virus is always to be capitalized, but is never italicized, and may be abbreviated. Previous designations, Bundabug virus was first introduced as Bundabug Ebola virus in 2008, albeit without differentiating this name from the suggested species Bundabug Ebola virus. Another name introduced at the same time was Uganda Ebola virus. Later publications also referred to the virus as a novel strain of Ebola virus or as Bundabug Ebola virus. The abbreviations BEBOV and UEBOV were briefly used before BDBV was established as the abbreviation for Bundabug virus. Virus inclusion criteria A virus of the species Bundabug Ebola virus is a Bundabug virus if it has the properties of Bundabug Ebola viruses and if its genome diverges. For that of the prototype Bundabug Ebola virus, Bundabug virus variant number 811,250, by 10% at the nucleotide level, disease. BDBV is one of four Ebola viruses that causes Ebola virus disease in humans. EVD due to BDBV infection cannot be differentiated from EVD caused by other Ebola viruses by clinical observation alone, which is why the clinical presentation and pathology of infections by all Ebola viruses is presented together on a separate page. BDBV made its first appearance on August 1st of 2007, when a viral hemorrhagic fever outbreak began in the Bundabugyo and Kikyo townships of Bundabugyo district in western Uganda, blood samples from suspect cases were sent to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, where the presence of an Ebola virus was confirmed on November 29, 2007. In-depth analysis revealed that the present Ebola virus was a relative, but not identical, to the other four Ebola viruses known at the time. The outbreak was declared Dover on February 20, 2008. A second outbreak was reported by the WHO August 17, 2012 suspected to have infected 15 and killed 10 including three healthcare workers in Iziro, Power and Dungu Province Oriental DRC. Two of the cases have been confirmed to be BDBV. It is reported that bushmeat was the source. By September 3rd, the WHO reported that the number of cases had risen to 28, with 8 confirmed, 6 probable and 14 suspected, including 14 deaths. And as of the 12th of September, it had spread to the Adana and a total of 41 cases have been reported from OUE Acute Eliocute District in Province Oriental. Of these cases, 18 have been fatal. 
18 healthcare workers are included among the probable cases. 28 suspected cases have also been reported and are being investigated. Quote dot. In a press release, the Democratic Republic of Congo announced a final tally of 77 cases with 36 deaths. Ecology. The ecology of BDBV is currently unclear and no reservoir host has yet been identified. Therefore, it remains unclear how BDBV was introduced into the human population. Bats are suspected to harbor the virus because infectious Marburg virus and RAVN virus, two distantly related filoviruses, have been isolated from bats, and because traces of the more closely related Ebola virus were found in bats as well. Molecular Biology BDBV is basically uncharacterized on a molecular level. However, its genomic sequence, and with it their genomic organization and the conservation of individual open reading frames, is similar to that of the other four known Ebola viruses. It is therefore currently assumed that the knowledge obtained for EBOV can be extrapolated to BDBV and that all BDBV proteins are analogs of those of EBOV. Patent. A United States patent with multinational collaborative recognition was applied for on October 26, 2009, and published the 10th of April 2012, for the rights to BDBV. The patent is listed under six different numbers, including one assigned an U.S. appellation, as well as one Canadian, two European Patent Office, and two World Intellectual Property Organization designations. It is openly noted in the deposit statement of the patent application that the virus sample was deposited to the CDC in Atlanta, Georgia, on November 26, 2007, not to an international depository authority, which was the accepted method as established under the Budapest Treaty on the International Recognition of the Deposit of Microorganisms for purposes of patent procedure. According to the same section, the deposited organism was also admittedly not acceptable by American type culture collection. Quote, this sample was painstakingly researched and led to the patent application. Section of the patent explains its purpose as having utility in design of diagnostic assays to monitor Ebola HF disease in humans and animals, and develop effective antivirals and vaccines. Quote, Further, to avoid limiting the extent and reach of the patent, section states that, it is to be understood that the present invention is not limited to particular embodiments described, as such may, of course, vary. It is also to be understood that the terminology used herein is for the purpose of describing particular embodiments only, and is not intended to be limiting. The patent was published before the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that natural Natural material could not be patented as being an invention, but synthetic copies of natural materials could be patented and protected, if and or how this ruling has affected the patent for the Bundabugyo strain of Ebola is unclear.